Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, troubleshoot VTP and DTP. Here we can see our addressing table, device IP address and its a submit to mask. We will go through the objectives. In part 1, we will troubleshoot DTP. In part 2, we will troubleshoot VTP. We will go through the background in this activity. The switches S2 and S3 are not implementing VTP information. So we will verify that DTP and VTP configurations are correctly implemented. When all the issues are resolved, the PCs in the same VLAN will be able to communicate with each other. Right. Now we will come to uh, part 1, troubleshoot DTP. In part 1, we will uh, troubleshoot the trunk links among the switches. We will verify that permanent trunk links are used between the switches. So enter show interfaces trunk at the privileged exit prompt on all the switches to determine the status of the trunk links. How many trunk links are configured currently? Right, we will verify that. We will come to S2 first, CLI right enable here we are going to give a show interfaces uh, trunk yes here we can see no trunks configured now we will come to s1 cli enable show interfaces uh, trunk no trunk configured now we will come to s3 Enable show interfaces trunk. No trunk configured. So here we can see there are no working trunk links between the switches. Now we will come to B. Enter show interfaces gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port at the privileged exit prompt on S1. Do the same for gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 interface on S1. What is the operational mode on the Gigabit Ethernet interfaces on S1? Right, we will verify this now. Now we will come to S1. Right. So here we are going to give the command to show interfaces. We are going to specify the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Then we are going to give the switch port. Right. And here we can see the details and here we can see the operational mode that is a static access. Now we will uh, do the same uh, on the uh, for the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 interface uh, in the same switch. So here we are going to give instead of a 0 slash 1 here we are going to give a 0 slash 2. And here we can see the details. Here we can see the operational mode is a static access. Now we will come to C. Repeat the commands for a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on S2 and gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2 on S3. Right, we will do that coming to S2, CLI. Right, here we are going to give show interfaces gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port. Here we can see. Yes, operational mode, static access. Now we will come to S3. Here we are going to give you show interfaces, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2, switch port. Here also we can see the details. Operational mode, static access. Now we will come to the next, to correct the trunk links. Record the commands you use to correct the trunking issue. Verify the trunk links using the show commands. All right. Previously we have seen the trunks were not configured on the switches. So we are going to uh, configure trunk uh, on S1 for these uh, two interfaces gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2. And on S2 gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and on S3 gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. First of all, we will do it on S1, right, configure terminal, we will go to the interface as a range because we need gigabit third 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2, so 0 slash 1 hyphen 2, 
here we are going to give the switch port mode as trunk yes now we will come to yes to cli right configure terminal we will go to the interface gigabit third zero slash one and the switch port mode trunk now we will come to yes three cli configure terminal we will go to the interface gigabit third zero slash two oops okay right and uh, switch port mode trunk now we will verify uh, this uh, trunk what we configured coming to s2 yes show interfaces trunk yes here we can see that coming to s1 yes two interfaces configured so show interfaces trunk yes here we can see that two interfaces trunking and now we'll come to s3 show interfaces trunk yes here we can see that now we will come to part 2 troubleshoot a vtp s1 will be configured as the vtp server S2 and S3 will be configured as VTP clients and will be receiving VTP updates from S1. The VTP domain should be CCNA and the VTP password should be Cisco. Right. So currently all the desired VLANs are already configured on S1. So we will come to step 1. Verify VLAN information. Use the show VLAN brief command on all the switches. That means on S1, S2 and S3. So do all the switches have the same number of VLANs? We have to verify that. And how many does each switch have? Right. So we will verify this VLAN information. First of all, we will come to S2. Yes, right. So here we are going to give a show VLAN brief. And here we can see the details. Uh, we have the default uh, VLAN and uh, here we can see two VLAN created. So total we got uh, four, five, five default to VLAN and uh, two VLAN created. So total seven VLAN uh, on this uh, S2. Right, coming to S1. Show VLAN brief and here we can see, oh, here we can see extra. So 10, 20, 30, 99 and uh, triple line is created uh, in this uh, s2 and uh, other default to five vlan we can see also total uh, uh, 10 vlan on uh, s2 sorry i mean s1 yes so now we will come to s3 show vlan brief and here we can see that oh here we can see only two created so including default we have seven so here the question is uh, do all the switches have the same number of vlans no uh, it differs we have seen that and how many does each switch have yes on s1 we have seen total 10 vlan and s2 s3 we have seen total 7 vlans now we will come to uh, step 2 verify vtp configurations use the show vtp status and show vtp password commands on all the switches to verify the VTP status then record the VTP status information in the table below yes here we can see that so we will verify this VTP configurations on each switches first of all we will come to S1 yes, right so here we are going to give the show command show VTP status and here we can see the details so vtp domain name not configured and here is a vtp operating mode is uh, transparent also we will uh, verify the password so it is to show vtp password the vtp password is not configured right so we will uh, document these informations into our table yes here we can see the details uh, device is s1 a domain name no domain name configured operating mode is transparent and the vtp password also not configured now we will come to s2 and uh, we will verify 
so vtp status so here we can see that vtp operating mode is transparent and vtp domain name is a ccna right also we will verify the password show vt vtp password right so the vtp password is not configured now we will verify uh, these configurations into our spreadsheet here we can see the details so the device is s2 domain name is ccna operating mode is transparent and the vtp password the vtp password is not configured now we will verify on s3 show vtp status here we can see that the vtp operating uh, mode is transparent and the vtp domain name is a ccna now we will verify uh, show VTP password here uh, VTP password is a Cisco so here we can see C is in caps now we will record these uh, VTP informations into our uh, uh, spreadsheet coming to our spreadsheet here we can see the device is S3 domain name is CCNA operating mode is transparent and the VTP password is Cisco now we will come to uh, step 3 correct the vtp configurations record the commands used to correct the vtp configurations yes now according to our packetizer activity here we can see the domain uh, vtp domain should be ccna and the vtp password should be cisco also here we can see the s1 will be the server and s2 s3 will be the client Coming to the spreadsheet, here we can see we have to uh, modify all the informations except uh, this uh, domain name that is CCNA on S3. Coming to the configuration, first of all we will come to S1, CLI, right, enable configure terminal, we will set the VTP mode as a server and now we will set the vtp domain as a ccna in caps and the vtp password as cisco right now we will come to s2 cli configure terminal vtp mode is a client and the VTP domain is uh, CCNA and to be, we have to set the VTP password as Cisco. Now we will come to S3 configure terminal so here we will set the VTP mode as uh, client and also we have to set the VTP password as Cisco. Here in order to set the VTP mode sorry you know uh, VTP mode uh, the VTP uh, domain that is CCNA it's uh, configured correctly now we will come to uh, step 4 verify port assignment the switch ports connecting to the PCs need to be configured in the correct VLANs so the PCs can communicate with each other exactly so use the show VLAN brief command on S2 and S3 to determine if VLANs have been assigned to the switch ports, which VLAN is associated with these switch ports. Yes, in this packet tracer itself, uh, they are given uh, the VLAN and uh, this VLAN is associated with which ports. Here we can see that on S2 fast third zero slash one, uh, it is, uh, should be assigned to VLAN 10 and for S3 fast third zero slash eight also on uh, VLAN 10. And here we can see for uh, uh, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 also. Here we can see using the table above, correct the VLAN assignments on S2 and S3. Record the VLAN's assignment configurations below. Right, so we will do this now. First of all, we will do it on S2. Yes, so we will go to the interface, first third zero slash one, and we have to give a switch port access vlan 10 and now we will go to the interface here itself we can go interface faster third zero slash nine 
and this is the switch port access VLAN 20. Also, we have to go to the interface uh, fast thermal zero slash 17 switch port access VLAN 30. Yes. Now we will come to S3. Right. So we have to uh, go to the interface fast thermal zero slash 8. Here we are going to give a switch port access VLAN 10. Now we will go to the interface fast fast thermal zero slash uh, 16. Here also switch port access VLAN 20. And now we will go to the interface fast thermal zero slash 24. And this is a VLAN 30. Right. Now we will come to the last step. Step 5, verify end to end connectivity. So from PC0, ping PC5. From PC1, ping PC4. And from PC2, ping PC3. Right. So we will verify this connectivity now. First of all, we will ping from PC0 to PC5. So we have to get the IP address of PC5. Coming to command prompt, IP config. Here is the IP address of a PC5. We will copy this address. Right. Now we will come to PC0. Desktop, command prompt. Here we are going to ping to PC5. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will ping from PC1 to PC4. So we have to get the IP address of PC4. IP config. And here is the address. We will copy this address. And coming to PC1 desktop command prompt. Here we are going to give a ping. The IP address. Yes, we are getting the replay. And finally, we will ping from PC2 to PC3. So we have to get the IP address of PC3. That is IP config. And here is the address. We will copy that. Coming to PC2 desktop command prompt. Here we are going to ping to this address. Yes, we are getting the replay. Yes, that's all in this packet tracer activity. Here we can see the completion status, 100%. Yes, so in this packet tracer activity, uh, we able to troubleshoot VTP and DTP. We verify the DTP and the VTP configurations. Uh, and uh, we corrected and implemented. Friends, if you have any doubt, uh, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get the latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.